Eritrea, one of the most climate vulnerable countries in Africa, faces severe challenges from droughts, erratic rainfall and rising temperatures. But in the heart of Ansaba, a region plagued by water scarcity, a groundbreaking program is transforming lives and building climate resilience. In 2013, the government of the state of Eritrea initiated the Climate Change Adaptation Program in collaboration with the UNDP and the Adaptation Fund. This adaptation project has been helping Ansaba's communities adapt to climate impacts. The program focuses on increasing water availability, improving agricultural production, and building community resilience in the subzones of Habero and Hamelmalo. The objective of the Climate Change Adaptation Program in Zola Asaba is to increase community resilience and adaptive capacity to climate change through an integrated water resource management and agricultural development approach. By constructing dams, micro dams, and implementing rainwater harvesting, the program has increased water availability by over 1 million cubic meters, benefiting farmers and their families. If you want to produce food and be food secure, uh, agriculture has to be strengthened. And uh, in the kind of uh, environment we are in, where in most of Africa, where agriculture is rain fed, you must have guaranteed water. It has been a challenge. So what do you do with water that is wiping crops down from the mountain? To harvest this water, to be able to use it for agriculture. This obviously led to uh, several falls increase in food production. Farmers now have access to drought-resistant crops like pearl millet, allowing them to grow food during both rainy and dry seasons. This innovation helps secure food and income for households. The Minimum Integrated Household Agricultural Package or MEHAP provides families with livestock such as crossbred dairy cows and goats along with chickens and fruit trees. These resources have improved food security, doubled milk production and allowed families to sell surplus produce. <laughs> Solar panels have powered 748 homes, reducing reliance on costly kerosene and providing lighting for schools, improving education opportunities. Energy efficient stoves have reached over 1,700 women headed households, reducing deforestation and improving health by cutting down on harmful smoke. Through hands on training in animal husbandry, horticulture, and irrigation, over 6,000 households have gained the skills to thrive in a changing climate. Over 75,000 people in Ansaba have benefited from the program's impact. Abdul <laughs> 
بلاد آبچه و بلاد کروی نچل جاردن یک خدم هلاکا بلاد نیا کداریه بس بس حرای و رحفه و مسالم بس تمام تم من نام اول جاردن نسخه که هر گرم ماشاالله خدم کدانان رفه انشاکه علامه گرم دادی نشکه Six meteorological stations have been installed to help farmers monitor weather patterns, making them better prepared for climate risks. With over 75% of the region now adopting climate resilience practices, Ansaba is emerging as a model for climate adaptation across Eritrea. Every strategy has been taken into consideration in designing this project. This uh, took along uh, the local content. Um, I'm very sure that is the reason why we are proud of the sustainability of this project to the extent of us using it as a model for other areas, affected areas. So yes, adaptation works, but interventions have to take uh, into consideration local situation. In this project, the active participation of the community through the project implementation has laid a base for the sustainability of the project, supporting agricultural production system for enhanced crop and livestock productivity through the program has rewarded local farmers with increased and better nutrition for their households and income generation through the sale of fruits, vegetables, forage and milk. Thanks to the collaborative efforts of the government of Eritrea, UNDP and local communities, Ansaba is not only surviving the challenges of climate change, it is thriving, for this is just the beginning of a sustainable future. <laughs>